Hey guys, I wanted to share a fun thing on Throwback Thursday. It's not a classic country song, but it's even better. I am so excited to have my daughter Peyton Dale here with me. She's the ultimate throwback. It's true. And it wasn't by purpose. It wasn't planned. I have a sun shirt on. She's got a Rolling Stone shirt on, so we're living the throwback moment. <laughs> so what are you going to talk about, Mom? So I wanted to share with you guys, I know some of you have already gotten your copy of Lullaby Country, which is a CD of lullaby songs that I wrote uh, many, many years ago for a very special young lady who happens to be here. And I kind of wanted to see what her thoughts were on this, so this project. How long ago did you write this? I was like four? You were four. Okay, so 1990. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> On the, on the original cassette, I wish I had a copy of it. On the original cassette of this. <laughs> I had was, an outfit. You did, you had a beautiful hat on with a pretty bow on it and we were sitting by a barn and it was it was really, really cute. And she wouldn't wear a bow now to save her life, but that's or okay. Or we buy a barn. No, I would. Yeah, so why did, you, why did you write this in the first place? Because I don't know anyone else whose mom decided to write them a whole record. Well, you love music. You've mm -hmm. always loved music. You loved, uh, some of the songs were really directed at as to how I felt about having you. I was so thrilled. I felt that you were a miracle, which one of the songs is yeah. named You're a Miracle. I felt like you enjoyed, she enjoyed swinging. Like if I took her to any party, she would ignore the kids and just go straight to the swing for hours. So I had to write a song called Swinging. Yeah. There's Thank one you. called Perfect Child on here. Did I live up to that? One can dream. <laughs> Did I live up to that expectation? <laughs> well, I remember this hearing this when I was little, but I don't think I ever put two and two together that you wrote it. What? I, just, I honestly thought that everyone's mom made their kid a lullaby tape. You did not. No, so I would go to school and be like, well, what song did your mom write about you? <laughs> and it wasn't normal, apparently. I remember you asking me if I wrote Somewhere Over the Rainbow. One can wish about that too, I guess, huh? I would have gone to private school. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Yeah. So do you think the songs hold up still? Like if someone were to give this to their kid now, do you think it would hold up? You know, I, yes, I do. Because again, I wrote that for you 24 years ago yeah. and 15 years later, it landed in Cracker Barrel mm -hmm. for a little while. And then another 15 years later, I decided to put it out again as an offer on my website at kellylang.net and it's a shameless plug, but people have babies constantly yeah. or now. They are having a lot of babies now because <laughs> yeah. they are in quarantine. You know what I've learned though that I've really been thrilled by is that the people that owned that when they were children mm -hmm. are now having their own children. Yeah. So either it's now a gift for their children as a memory right? Um, or grandbabies that come around. They want to replay that for their grandbabies. I'll play that for the dogs. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to share with you guys um, my new project called Lullaby Country. It's not new. Well, new-ish to my website. To the website. And uh, I wanted to it's introduce new, you. It's new like I'm new. I wanted to introduce you to my inspiration for the project. I thought that would be fun today. You know, out of all the songs that were ever written about me, those are the nicest ones. <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love. See ya. Bye, guys.